What would you find if you ventured to the deepest parts of the earth? Lost towns, fabled sea monsters, and gold rivers? Most likely not. However, there is still plenty to learn. So join us as we journey down beneath the surface to discover some of the world's most hostile environments. Few people may claim to have visited the planet's deepest depths. Victor Vescovo, on the other hand, can. Vescovo led an expedition that visited the deepest places in all five oceans from 2018 to 2019. In under 10 months, the Five Deeps mission traversed 87,000 kilometers and made 39 dives utilizing a tiny submarine. You'll only visit one trench during your journey, the Mariana Trench. You'll need roughly three quarters of a million dollars to make the trip, but you'll be one of the few people to go this far down. To begin, you must first travel to Japan. You then board a submarine and go around 2,000 kilometers out into the Pacific Ocean. The Mariana Trench's deepest point, Challenger Deep, lies almost 11 kilometers below the surface, and getting there would take roughly two and a half hours. At the start of your descent, there will be a lot to look at. The majority of ocean life can be found in the first 200 meters below the surface. It becomes darker as you go deeper, as does the species you'll witness. Even so, you'll be able to see the rare whale diving for food. At one cam below the surface, you'd see your first deep-sea creature, the fangtooth. This properly called fish measures 16 cm in length and has two massive teeth. The fangtooth has two sockets beside its brain to accommodate them. There are no more whales once you dive deeper than 2,500 meters. They generally don't get this deep. However, as you reach 8,000 meters, you'll come upon the Mariana snailfish. The atmospheric pressure is about 1,100 times what it is at sea level at this point. It would be like carrying the weight of a fully loaded truck on your head if you weren't inside a sealed submarine. To resist all of this severe pressure, those small snailfish must be pretty tough. You'd eventually reach the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the ocean. Higher Dali gigas, an amphipod species, may be seen if you look closely. These tiny deep-sea crustaceans are only 3 centimeters long. That's pretty much it for the Mariana Trench. There are no hidden treasures, towns, or marine monsters to be found. Then it's time to see the West Mata Volcano, the world's lowest sea volcano. This underwater site can be seen southwest of the Samoan Islands. To travel 1,200 meters below the surface, you'll need to rent another submarine. But since you've already been to the Mariana Trench, it shouldn't be a problem. If you're lucky, the volcano will be active and you'll be able to view lava fountains and glow-in-the-dark bubbles. Just be wary of all the rubbish that ends up in the sea. The Mariana Trench and the West Mata Volcano are both natural deep places on Earth. But what about something that was created by humans? The Emponang Gold Mine is the world's deepest functioning mine. Every day, almost 4,000 miners work there. It's still dangerous, despite safety precautions. In March 2020, a seismic event killed three miners who were 3.5 kilometers below the surface. To go to the mine, you'll need to travel to South Africa's Gauteng region. You'd ride the cage elevator with 119 other workers until it reached a depth of 2.5 kilometers beneath the surface of the earth. You'll notice the heat as soon as the elevator doors open. It's around 38 degrees Celsius. And it's only because the mining firm has devised a cooling system. The mine would be a scorching 60 deg C without fans blowing over a mixture of ice and salt. Why? Because you're so deep inside the earth, its inner heat is warming the atmosphere around you. You'd just be 2.5 kilometers below the surface of the earth. You'd have to walk or drive the rest of the way down to go lower. When you get to 4 kilometers, you'll be at the bottom of the mine. That's the equivalent of 10 Empire State Buildings. There are no cave animals to be afraid of down here, thankfully. Monotypic bacteria are the only kind of life down here, aside from the miners. While the Emponang Gold Mine is amazing, the oceans contain all of the world's deepest locations. Over 80% of the oceans are still unmapped, unseen, and undiscovered, according to NASA. And if we want to keep exploring these regions, we'll have to take better care of our environment. We could start by cleaning up our trash-filled oceans. Can you imagine a Mariana Trench filled to the capacity with trash? That'll have to wait for another video.